In this video, we will demonstrate how to remove and install the solid state drive into the solid state drive slot 1. Before removing the solid state drive from the SSD1 slot, read through the safety guidelines to protect your computer from potential damage and ensure your personal safety. For more information about safety guidelines, see the Dell G315 3500 service manual at the Dell support website. Before you begin, ensure that you turn off your computer and disconnect all attached peripherals. To remove the base cover, loosen the four captive screws that secure the base cover to the palm rest and keyboard assembly. Remove the six screws that secure the base cover to the palm rest and keyboard assembly. Using a plastic scribe, pry the base cover beside the display hinges and then continue to work on the sides to open the base cover. Lift the base cover off the palm rest and keyboard assembly. Disconnect the battery cable from the connector on the system board. Turn the computer over and open the display. Press and hold the power button for 5 seconds to ground the computer and drain the flea power. After draining the flea power, close the display and turn the computer over. Now, let's remove the 2280 solid state drive from the SSD1 slot. Remove the two screws that secure the solid state drive bracket to the system board in the palm rest and keyboard assembly. Lift the solid state drive bracket off the palm rest and keyboard assembly. Slide and lift the 2280 solid state drive out of the SSD1 slot. You have successfully removed the 2280 solid state drive from the SSD1 slot. Now, let's see how to install the 2280 solid state drive in the SSD1 slot. Align the notches on the 2280 solid state drive with the tabs on the SSD1 slot. Slide the 2280 solid state drive into the SSD1 slot. Place the solid state drive bracket on the 2280 solid state drive. Align the screw holes on the solid state drive bracket with the screw holes on the system board and the palm rest and keyboard assembly. Replace the two screws that secure the 2280 solid state drive to the palm rest and keyboard assembly. You have successfully installed the 2280 solid state drive in the SSD1 slot. Once the solid state drive is installed, install the battery and base cover back to the computer. Now connect the battery cable to the connector on the system board. To install the base cover, align and place the base cover on the palm rest and keyboard assembly. Press the edges and sides of the base cover until it snaps into place. Now, tighten the four captive screws that secure the base cover to the palm rest and keyboard assembly. Replace the six screws that secure the base cover to the palm rest and keyboard assembly. The solid state drive installation process in the SSD1 slot is now completed. For more information, see the service manual document at dell.com/support.